Hello. This is the Cambridge Movers practice listening test. Test three. Part one. Look at part one. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Can you see Jim? Is he in the water? No, he isn't. He's sitting down. Is that him, with the yellow towel on his shoulders? Yes, that's him. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. One. Who's the man in the white T-shirt? The one who's standing under the clock. Yes. He's a swimming teacher. What's his name? Do you know? That's Peter. Two. I'm looking for Sue now. Can you see her? No, I can't. Oh yes, I can. She's standing on her hands under the water. Where? How can you see that? Look, you can only see her legs and feet. Oh yes. Oh, <laughs> I can see her. Three. Those two boys are enjoying their game. Yes, I know the bigger one. His name's John. Is he the one with the ball in his hands now? Yes, that's right. Four. Where's Pat? Is she here? Yes, I saw her in the water. There she is. She's swimming. Where? She's wearing a pink swimming hat. Oh yes, she can swim very well. Five. Does Ben work here? Yes, he's here now. I can see him. In the water? No, he's walking next to the pool. In a blue t-shirt and blue trousers? Yes. Now listen to part one again. One. Who's the man in the white T-shirt? The one who's standing under the clock. Yes. He's a swimming teacher. What's his name? Do you know? That's Peter. Two. I'm looking for Sue now. Can you see her? No, I can't. Oh yes, I can. She's standing on her hands under the water. Where? How can you see that? Look, you can only see her legs and feet. Oh yes. Oh, <laughs> I can see her. Three. Those two boys are enjoying their game. Yes, I know the bigger one. His name's John. Is he the one with the ball in his hands now? Yes, that's right. Four. Where's Pat? Is she here? Yes, I saw her in the water. There she is. She's swimming. Where? She's wearing a pink swimming hat. Oh yes, she can swim very well. Five. Does Ben work here? Yes, he's here now. I can see him. In the water? No, he's walking next to the pool. In a blue T-shirt and blue trousers? Yes. 
That is the end of part one. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Hello. You're new here, aren't you? Shall I help you? Yes, please. I want to take these things out of the library. Right. Which class are you in? Seven. Well, write seven here. Look. Okay. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. One. Now, what's your name? Daisy Spear. How do you spell that? It's S P E A R. Right. Two. Now, which book have you got? This one. Its name is My Plants. Okay. Then we write My Ants here. Um, not ants. Plants. Oh, yes. Sorry. Three. Have you got a video there? Yes. Is there a name on the box? It's a sports video. It says tennis on the box. Okay, put tennis here. Can you play well? No, not very well. I want to play better. Four. Have you got a CD player at home? You can take a CD. I'd like to take this one. Is that okay? Yes. It says music on the outside. Shall I write that? What kind of music is it? Film music. I see. I write film music here. Five. How many days do you need them all for? Can I have them for one week? Yes, that's fine. So, can you write one week at the bottom there, please? Oh yes, I see. Good. Now you can take all your things. Enjoy them. Now listen to part two again. One. Now, what's your name? Daisy Spear. How do you spell that? It's S P E A R. Right. Two. Now, which book have you got? This one. Its name is My Plants. Okay. Then we write My Ants. Here, um, not ants, plants. Oh, yes. Sorry. Three. Have you got a video there? Yes. Is there a name on the box? It's a sports video. It says tennis on the box. Okay, put tennis here. Can you play well? No, not very well. I want to play better. Four. Have you got a CD player at home? You can take a CD. I'd like to take this one. Is that okay? Yes. It says music on the outside. Shall I write that? What kind of music is it? Film music. I see. I write film music here. Five. How many days do you need them all for? Can I have them for one week? Yes, that's fine. So, can you write one week at the bottom there, please? Oh yes, I see. Good. Now you can take all your things. Enjoy them. That is the end of part two.
Part 3. Look at the pictures. What did Bill do last week? Listen and look. There is one example. Hello, Aunt Jane. Hello, Bill. I saw you in the pet shop on Wednesday. Oh, we were there because Mum wanted to get a cat for us. Did you find one? Yes. We've got a beautiful black and white cat at home now. Wow! Can you see the line from the word Wednesday? On Wednesday, Bill and his mother bought a cat. Now you listen and draw lines. 1. On Friday, my best friend came to sleep at our house. Did he? Did he sleep in your bedroom? Yes. He had my bed and I slept on the floor. Did you sleep well? No. We played games for most of the night. <laughs> 2. And I had a good day on Saturday. Oh? What did you do? I went with my school to the zoo. Great! What did you like best? All the big cats, like the lions and tigers. Three. Did your friend come again on Tuesday, Bill? On Tuesday? No. I had a temperature and a headache. Oh, dear. Yes. I was in bed all day. Four. Dad painted my bedroom last week. Oh. When did he do that? On Monday. He did three walls and I did one. Well done! Yes, it's great now. It's all purple. Five. What did you do on Sunday, Bill? I don't know, but Thursday was a good day. What did you do on Thursday? I did a painting of a lion. I enjoy painting a lot. Me too. And Mum put it on the wall. I love it. Now listen to part three again. One. On Friday, my best friend came to sleep at our house. Did he? Did he sleep in your bedroom? Yes. He had my bed and I slept on the floor. Did you sleep well? No. We played games for most of the night. <laughs> Two. And I had a good day on Saturday. Oh? What did you do? I went with my school to the zoo. Great! What did you like best? All the big cats, like the lions and tigers. Three. Did your friend come again on Tuesday, Bill? On Tuesday? No. I had a temperature and a headache. Oh, dear. Yes. I was in bed all day. Four. Dad painted my bedroom last week. Oh. When did he do that? On Monday. He did three walls and I did one. Well done! Yes, it's great now. It's all purple. 5. What did you do on Sunday, Bill? I don't know, but Thursday was a good day. What did you do on Thursday? I did a painting of a lion. I enjoy painting a lot. Me too. And Mum put it on the wall. I love it. That is the end of part three. Part four. Look at the pictures. Listen and look. There is one example. What does Nick want? That pasta was very good. Thank you. Now, what can I give you, Nick? I've got fruit or ice cream.
I'd like some fruit, please. Here you are. Would you like a cup of coffee with it? Ah, thank you, but I can't drink coffee. It gives me a headache. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. Which animal is Tom's favorite pet? I like all my pets a lot. I know, Tom. I like the snake. It's very beautiful. Which one is your favorite? I like my big black spider best. Hmm. Well, don't take him out of the box, please. Okay. Would you like to see my mouse? Yes, please. I like mice. Two. Which girl is Fred's cousin? Hello, Fred. Is your mother here in the park? No, I'm here with my cousin, but I can't find her now. Is that her, in the blue dress? No, she's got straight black hair. It isn't curly like mine. What's she wearing? A yellow shirt and trousers. Three. What's Kim doing? Where's Kim? Is she in the kitchen cooking the supper? No, she's in the bathroom washing her hair. Why? There's a film about dolphins on the TV. She wanted to watch it. Right. Four. What can Paul have for his game? Can I have this old map for my game? No, but you can play with that old camera. Oh yes, thank you. And can I have that box? I'm sorry, Paul. I need it. Five. What does Sally always do on Monday evening? I don't like Monday mornings. We have hockey, but I like the evenings. We always go to the supermarket. Do you like that? I don't. I like Tuesday evenings better. What do you do then, Bill? We go swimming. Now listen to part four again. One, which animal is Tom's favorite pet? I like all my pets a lot. I know, Tom. I like the snake. It's very beautiful. Which one is your favorite? I like my big black spider best. Hmm. Well, don't take him out of the box, please. Okay. Would you like to see my mouse? Yes, please. I like mice. Two. Which girl is Fred's cousin? Hello, Fred. Is your mother here in the park? No, I'm here with my cousin, but I can't find her now. Is that her, in the blue dress? No, she's got straight black hair. It isn't curly like mine. What's she wearing? A yellow shirt and trousers. Three. What's Kim doing? Where's Kim? Is she in the kitchen cooking the supper? No, she's in the bathroom washing her hair. Why? There's a film about dolphins on the TV. She wanted to watch it. Right. Four. What can Paul have for his game? Can I have this old map for my game? No, but you can play with that old camera. Oh yes. Thank you, and can I have that box? I'm sorry, Paul. I need it. Five. What does Sally always do on Monday evening? I don't like Monday mornings. We have hockey, but I like the evenings. We always go to the supermarket. Do you like that? I don't.
I like Tuesday evenings better. What do you do then, Bill? We go swimming. That is the end of part four. Part five. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Hello, Anne. Look at this picture. Would you like to live here? No, because it isn't our world. But I like looking at it. Shall we colour it? Okay. Can I colour the monster with four arms? Yes. Colour the monster with four arms green. Can you see the green monster? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and draw. One. I can see two robots in this picture. That's right. Now I want you to colour the square one. Okay. What colour? Colour the square robot red. Now I want you to draw something. Is it difficult? No, but listen carefully. Can you see a cloud? I can see two of them. Good. Find the one which is above the flowers, and draw some rain under that cloud. I understand. It's raining on the flowers. Three. Now look at the stars. I can see some stars and two different moons. That's right. Find the round moon which is between two stars. Can I colour the round one blue? Yes, that's a good colour for it. Four. I like the planes. Can I colour one of them? Okay. Which one do you want to colour? I'd like to colour the one that's flying. Right. Colour the plane that's flying yellow. Five. There are trees in this world. Can you see them? Yes, I can see them. But they are not like the ones in our world. Well, I want you to colour the tallest tree in the picture. Okay, I'm colouring the tallest one. I'm colouring it pink. Very good. I like that. Now listen to part five again. One. I can see two robots in this picture. That's right. Now I want you to colour the square one. Okay. What colour? Colour the square robot red. Two. Now I want you to draw something. Is it difficult? No, but listen carefully. Can you see a cloud? I can see two of them. Good. Find the one which is above the flowers, and draw some rain under that cloud. I understand. It's raining on the flowers. Three. 
Now look at the stars. I can see some stars and two different moons. That's right. Find the round moon which is between two stars. Can I colour the round one blue? Yes, that's a good colour for it. Four. I like the planes. Can I colour one of them? OK. Which one do you want to colour? I'd like to colour the one that's flying. Right. Colour the plane that's flying yellow. Five. There are trees in this world. Can you see them? Yes, I can see them. But they are not like the ones in our world. Well, I want you to colour the tallest tree in the picture. OK. I'm colouring the tallest one. I'm colouring it pink. Very good. I like that. That is the end of the Movers Practice Listening Test 3.